but I'm looking at the weather forecast and it's going to be cooling down pretty quickly here. So I need to get a new garage heater for my workspace. And at an estate sale last summer I picked up this Arvin automatic dual heat system. I found an ad in an old Life magazine from 1959 that shows this except it doesn't have the dash one at the end of the model number and the graphics here on the front panel are slightly different uh, the one in the magazine doesn't have that flamey thing the Arvin is a slightly different font and instead of automatic dual heat it says something else but everything else is the same so maybe they wanted to accentuate the automatic dual heat feature and so they made a different model with stuff up front and added the dash one I'm really not sure well I suppose it could be a later model but we have our carrying handle sort of the birch orange Arvin color as I call it that's on a lot of their equipment slider for heat the pilot light that comes on 1320 and 1650 watts supposedly fan assisted two elements in there let's turn it around and on the bottom you can see the specifics here maybe it's kind of hard to light this bottom uh, 5934 Dash one is the model number. Slightly different than the one in the photograph. Might be for the wording on the front or something. Serial number 300. 1650 watts. Columbus, Indiana. Right along the back here we have all our ventilation ducts, 10 screws, power cord, and two acorn nuts over the bolts on the motor looking inside from the back you can see uh, that appears to be the safety tip over switch there's our lever for our heater settings and our fan There's the motor. Let me see if I can. It's hard to see the actual elements here. But they don't appear to be magnetic. That is, but. Two elements or not, they must be ceramic of some sort. But they're definitely not magnetic. Let's see if I can get the fan on here. The lights off, see if we're going to see some. Blowing, I doubt we'll be able to because of it. We're behind the parabolic reflectors. And we'll try it from the front later. This isn't going to get us to see anything. Well, we're on low heat, supposedly 1,320 watts, but according to the kills a watt here, we're only 1,227 or so. It's on 1,650 watts setting. We're about 
1500 watts. So, about 150 watts short on the high. Well, there we are, the ceramic heaters or whatever they are. The elements are really cranking out the heat. I'm boiling here, sitting right in front of it. Let's turn it down a little. I'm not sure where it'll shut off at. Right there. Okay, let's put that back to low. Fan has died down. That's that. And there's that dinky that heaters do. Let's test our tip over safety switch. Yeah, I hit shut off. Had to go over all the way though, really. Well, that's been the 1959-ish Arvin heater, 5934-1. It's going to be my garage heater for this year. And like any of these old vintage heaters, or fans even, it will only be plugged in and on when I'm in here working. No matter how good I think it might be, I won't risk an old fan like this, or heater like this, unattended. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.